Former captain Gary Neville has commended Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag for the way he has dealt with a series of difficulties during his maiden season at Old Trafford. Despite the excitement his appointment brought ahead of the start of this season, United's fans continue to vent their anger and frustrations at the Glazer family, who remain in the process of trying to sell the club. Mass protests were staged ahead of United's first two home games of the season, meaning the spotlight was as much on those as it was matters on the pitch. United, though things have improved on the pitch significantly as this season has progressed, got off to the worst possible start, losing their opening two games. Tempers flared after the 4–0 defeat by Brentford and supporters, as well as Neville, urged a member of the Glazer family to step forward and address the issues. Instead, Ten Hag was the figure who had to stand up and face the questions, dealing with the situation both professionally and excellently. And it was during that dark period at the beginning of this season that Ten Hag impressed Neville. After Manchester United lost 4–0 to Brentford, it was the end of the world, said Neville, speaking on the Overlap Live fan debate, in partnership with Skybet. The owners were coming under massive pressure. Protests were big. We requested to speak to the owners, first and foremost. We wanted to interview them. The owners don't stand up, so we said we have to speak to someone prominent at the club. Eric Ten Hag was the one that stood up, and he went up massively in our estimations that week. Not just how he dealt with us personally, off-camera, but how he answered the questions. And, they went on to win the game against Liverpool and turn it around. It was unbelievable, and I know some United fans think we give him a really hard time, we had to that week. United fans were giving the club the hardest time. He was the senior figure that the club put up, and we had to ask him those questions. In the most difficult period I've seen a manager in recent times, he stood up and threw his chest out, and he believed he should be there. As well as attempting to resurrect United in the midst of an ongoing feud between the supporters and the ownership of the club, Ten Hag also had to deal with the Cristiano Ronaldo saga in November, where the Portuguese international slammed the Dutchman and United in an interview with Piers Morgan. Again, the former Ajax boss handled the whole situation with class and the utmost professionalism. Neville did warn United fans, though, that they have been in promising positions before under previous managers who eventually ended up being replaced. Manchester United fans should nt get carried away and should be happy with improving enormously since the start of this season, and even last season, added Neville. Ten Hag is building a good bridge, but Lewis, Van Hall, Jose, Mourinho, and Ole, Gunnar Solskjaer, have all had seasons like Ten Hag's having now. He's made some good decisions in tough circumstances in the first six months. The Harry Maguire situation, Cristiano Ronaldo, losing the first few games, the transfer window was really poor, so he's had challenges and he's dealt with them well.